But Garrett Graves, who saw his current Senate district or congressional district decimated by that redrawn map, he says there is a reason for it. He claims it's retaliation by Governor Jeff Landry because Graves supported someone else in the race for governor. Chris Rosado joins us now with this. Chris. Yeah, well, guys, if that redrawn map holds up in court, Graves could be in trouble for his hopes for reelection and already a big name in politics. Senator Cleo Fields says he'll run against him. But while speaking at the Baton Rouge Press Club today, he told us point blank that he feels for Congressman Graves. I understand what Greg Garrett Graves is going through today because I went through it 27 years ago. While reminiscing about his time in Congress back in the 90s, Senator Fields recalled a similar situation where his district was changed. He was responding to Congressman Garrett Graves' claim that Graves' district was targeted by Governor Jeff Landry due to what Graves calls a personal vendetta against him. Instead of endorsing Landry for governor, Graves endorsed his friend Stephen Wagaspak, and that, he claims, set Landry off. And, and so the governor took it personally and, and is simply trying to carry out some degree of of vindictiveness and, and look, I'm fine with that. If that's how he wants to play games, then that's fine. Listen, did politics play a role? Absolutely. Senator Fields explained the complicated dilemma Republicans faced when it came to deciding whose map to redraw and create that second black majority district, having to choose between House Speaker Mike Johnson, House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, and the only female Louisiana representative, Julia Letlow's districts. We only have six. And, and they chose Gary Graves. If that's how he wants to play games, then that's fine. But, but don't, don't harm Louisiana in the process. If you have it out for me, that's fine. But don't harm Louisiana. Lawmakers successfully added a second black majority district to the map in a special session shortly after Governor Landry took office. But before things could move forward, another lawsuit was handed down, claiming the legislature violated the Constitution by using race as the sole purpose for creating the district. Well, I can tell you from personal experience, I was there, I lived it. Uh, race was not the predominant factor. We should know soon if that map will stand. A multi-judge panel will take up the issue next month in Shreveport. Now, the governor's office earlier today responded to those claims by Congressman Graves that Landry is targeting him. Landry's office calling those claims unfounded, saying they are unfortunate political rhetoric. Guys, back to you. Chris, thank you. Lawmakers will debate a bill.